Hey guys, Benny here with Beauty by Benny. Welcome back to my channel. Today's look is inspired by JLo's makeup at the 2015 Golden Globes. It's a matte gray smoky eye with purple tones in the crease paired with a pale pink lip. Alright, let's get started. I've already done my foundation routine and brows. Please check out my channel for detailed tutorials on those. I'm using a concealer wheel from Ben Nye to highlight under my brow bone. The brush I'm using is a synthetic concealer brush from Real Techniques, and then I just use my fingers to blend it all out. This is Brulee from MAC. Any vanilla shadow will work. I'm applying this over the concealer to set it in place, and it also helps my brows look more neat. Next, I'm using this light purple eyeshadow from Dior. So I'm going to apply that purple shade right into my crease and concentrating more on the inner corners. The next color that I'm using is from my Ofra palette. You guys know that I love and use this palette all the time. It's this cranberry burgundy shade. Same thing, I'm going to apply this into the crease as well. So this is Urban Decay's Pencil in Smoke. It's like a very dark charcoal gray color. And I'm going to apply that over my lid, not going above the crease. This is going to help our makeup stay on longer. To set the gray pencil, I'm going over it using MAC's Night Divine Eyeshadow. Remember to tap off any excess from the brush and press on the shadow instead of sweeping it on for better results. This is MAC's Brun. I'm using Brun in the crease because it's a very cool tone ashy brown and works great with both the gray and purple shadows. I'm also using my MAC 217 brush, which is my favorite for crease colors. To line my waterline, I'm using MAC's Feline Eye Pencil. I think out of every black eye pencil I've tried, this one has to be my favorite. Next, I mixed the purple, cranberry, and gray shadows and used a small eyeshadow brush to smudge out my lower lash line. And now to soften the edges of the eyeshadow, I'm going to use a clean MAC 224 fluffy blending brush. This is an eye pencil from LA Girl Cosmetics in the color Champagne, and I'm using it to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. I want this to be very subtle, so I'm using a light hand. And even though JLo's makeup artist didn't do this, uh, but I wanted to add a touch of this pencil just under the arch of my brows. I like doing this because it looks really pretty in print and in video under lighting. This is Floof Eyeshadow from MAC and I'm applying this right over the champagne pencil, again keeping it under the arch only, and then I blended it out with my MAC 224 brush. For my lashes, I'm using Coco Lashes and Goddess. For mascara, I used L'Oreal's Voluminous, actually one of my favorite mascaras. So for my lips, I'm going to first line them using Max Mahogany lip pencil. I'm going to keep it darker on the outside and lighter right in the center. Next, I'm going to use a Fioshi Cosmetics liquid lipstick called Just Relax. Max Spice Lip Liner. Once again, I'm going to go back with the mahogany. Using the lightest color in my Cryolan Dermacolor Wheel, I'm going to highlight the center of my lips for a more pouty effect. And I'm going to top that off with NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss.
To finish the look, I'm using NYX's blush in peach, and I'm applying this right over the apples of my cheeks. And that completes our JLo 2015 Golden Globes inspired makeup look. I really loved how it turned out. It's very smoky and bold, yet soft and feminine at the same time. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching Beauty by Benny. Take care. Mwah.